Hello once again my fellow witches and wizards, and we're back in Grizzleheim episode 18. When we left off, we got three things apparently that from things that could not be, and now we must intertwine them with the loom of fate and decide Grizzleheim's future. Something like that. I don't know, I don't know how to do this kind of stuff. No. Why? Why did I do that? Strangely. Grizzleheim feels a little more like home to you. No, I don't want it to be. I want to go home. I want to go back to Wizard City. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go back and talk to Erd. Alright, I put them in the loom. Now what? You can now dispel the magic that binds Grandmother Raven within her That'd be cage. good. It should open to your touch. Alright, let's 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 get you both free, Grandmother Raven. It's time to get out of that little bubble of yours. Oh god. She's mumbling. She's mumbling some stuff. Oh no! Oh, she she got she's gone. Oh, look at that tree. Oh, this has got to be one of the fa my favorite like cutscene sort of things in this game. I mean, look at that. That that is a uh, that is that's cool. That's very cool. Now I can take on my true form. Do not be afraid. Walk up the ramp so that I can see you. Who wouldn't be afraid of a giant bird like that? <laughs> okay. How much experience? I'm getting 4,000 for this? Wow. I mean, I've already had 3,000 out of 20, 229,000, so I'm getting there. It has been centuries since I wore this shape. Oh, to stretch these wings once more. Oh, really? That You've been locked up for centuries? That's a long time. I hope you realize that. There is still much to do. Else the Everwinter takes us all in its cold, clawed grasp. That's bad. When the Ice Titan fought with his brothers, the Titans of Fire and Storm, the world was threatened with ruin. Uh, yeah, I, I remember this. I learned something about this talking to the trees. Bartleby sung the song that put them to sleep and bound together the shattered world and spun it into the spiral. All right, Bartleby. Four sons there are of the Ice Titan, four giants of frost, Austri, Vestri, Sudri and Nordri are their names. Oh, okay. They all have, they all end with Re. How interesting. Each frost giant ruled the land near Rundle Fjord, and they have never been friendly to bear, wolf, or raven. Oh, that's bad then. But the one they liked least was their father, the Ice Titan himself. While the father slumbers, the sons run wild. Oh, that's bad. The four ice giants. Bad, bad children. To bind their father to sleep. Four golden seals, one to each. You know what's funny? They're actually seals, like the animal seals. Not like like a stamp or anything. They're actual seals. I thought that was super funny. It's like, do I? Have, no, I don't think I have that quest to collect them yet. So, oh well. Let's move on. I lay this task upon you to fetch back the golden seals. The gate to Austria's land will now open to you. Go awesome. And speak to okay, Austria. It looks like you're our first victim. I mean, uh, negotiative to get your seal. So hopefully, uh, you'll make this easier for us. Let's get these out of here and replace them with Tempest because I don't really need sirens for these uh, weaklings. No, I'm just kidding. They're like they're like Dragon Spire hard enemies. Ooh, Grendelweed. How interesting. Not that I'm gonna use that for anything soon. Ah, <sighs> I remember Australia. I actually uh, kind of like these areas a lot. So, there's a lot of Black Lotus here. Can I get that? Nope, can't get that. So, we gotta go find Austria. Wherever... Okay, Austria's... Ooh, there's a wand vendor here. Let's go look at the wand vendor. Not that I'm gonna need a wand vendor. I mean, I mean, it doesn't hurt to look, am I right? Okay. Hello. Oh, you're an amulet vendor too. Cool. Let's take a look at your wares. So you have level 52 stuff. Uh, really low critical and block rating things. Huh, see if you give any uh, good amulets. No, this is basically just wards and charms and steel things and also that kind of stuff. Wolf camp, let's go on by. Give me that frost flower, thank you. Another frost flower, how, how convenient. I would like that also. Uh, I remember all the side quests in this on these areas. There's quite a bit. Uh, it's gonna be, gonna be, ooh, Sveeny Reavers. Don't know if you guys know Stormshield. Hopefully you won't. And then you got the Brawlers over here. Maybe they know Elemental Shields. Hopefully they don't. Again, hey, hey, Ragna Heartmender. You're the first female bear we've seen. I mean, I think you see more of these. I think, 
I think you see some of these in Avalon. Not quite sure. Frostbone, god damn it. God darn it, Frostbones. Uh, I just want to go out talk to Austri, so... Let's go. Ooh, stone block. Hey, Austri, you're quite open. Hello, sir. I pulled bigger things than you out of my nose. How wonderful. I did not need to know that. Who are you? And why should I bother listening? Your father's gonna wake up. You want it's that? clear to me why you come. You want the golden seal that will keep my father in his great sleep. Yes. The coven gave one seal to each of the Ice Titan's sons for safekeeping. But they do not know us very well. I guess not. It pleases my brothers and me to let Amir sleep on while we rule over Bear, Raven, and Wolf. So, uh, you'll make this easy for us to let me have the seal? You're clearly a wizard of some renown, but I will not grant the seal to just any who ask. You must earn it. Okay, guess not. Four tests I place before you. You must demonstrate your superiority in strategy. With charm and strength. Charm? Oh god, I'm gonna fail that one. If you would have my golden seal, you must defeat the most cunning of my allies, Skagis Forkbeak. Okay. He has a beak like a fork? He dwells in a small shack next to my hall. You may have passed it on your way here. Defeat him and return here. Okay, Skagis Forkbeak. If I recall, I challenge you to a game of chess. And lose the first time, if I recall. I don't... I, it's been a while since I actually did this war area. It was like, uh, when it first came... I think I was still in Celestia on my myth when I was doing this area. So, it was quite the while ago. Really a long time ago. Okay, ooh, Silver Chest. Still not gonna collect that. Hello, Unferth, Ulthir, and Garm, and Ethan, Ethum. Uh, I gotta go talk to Skagis down here. And then challenge him to a fight of some sort. No, it's a chess. Hello. I saw you sneaking around Austria's hall. What brings you here? That was on the other side of the map. How did you see that? Unless you can if see you through walls. If you want to impress me, you'll have to defeat me in a game of Dane's Table. It's a complex game, like chess. I'm pretty sure it is chess. I can see you haven't heard of it. But don't worry, I'm starved for a good game. No one here is any good at it. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll be good at it. I have you. defeated all of Glitterheim at Dane's table. Oh, dear God. All but my mere winter Dane, and he played to a draw. So, do I have to learn from that guy? If you want to learn how to play and play well, you should go and beg him to teach you the rules of the game. My mere oh, okay. Dane's okay. Well in Guarded by the three Njords. Tell him I sent you. Uh, alright, alright. I'll do that. Because I was like, I was kind of worried that the boss would be one of the... There's a boss around this in this area that cheats really badly. Kind of like Belloc, except not as bad. And I was hoping that it would not be him. One of the side quests will do it. We will do that side quest. And probably I'll do that when I beat the game completely and then we'll come back and do it. Uh, there's like, oh, there's only one of them. Wow, there's like nothing here. There's one frost beak, one rune claw. Let me guess, one frost goblin, probably. Now nah, I couldn't see it anyway. So Mimir Winterbane is inside this well. Is that what they said? Or you don't said? see anything. There is only one way to find. All right, one. going in. Hopefully we won't be wasting our time. Ooh, wood chest. Nope, come back for that later. Okay. So that yeah, that boss. We'll do that side quest. Don't know if I'll be able to beat the guy though on my own. So I'm gonna have to. Oh god. Well, I'll send you to the coldest corner of the afterlife. Uh, please don't. Uh, so fight me. So this is Mimir Winterbane, rank ten ice boss with seven thousand nine hundred and twenty health. Uh, quite the bit of health. Also the Grendel Snaggleclaw. Rank 9 Storm with only 695 health. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, let's get rid of that. Don't really have anything I want to cast. I'll cast a Vengeance. I'm really worried about um, Tower Shield of all things, so hopefully I won't have to deal with that. And this this dude, obviously. Oh, what do you do? First turn Snow Angel, me brah. I know you won't. That's why you fizzled. 
Probably shouldn't have empowerment. Uh, got empowerment. <laughs> Speaking of which, gonna use it. Because they both have over four pips. Um, they might as well just use them all. Bye, Vengeance. Wasn't gonna use you anytime soon. So, hopefully this won't cause me much troubles. Oh, what is this? Snow Angel? Do it. Oh, no, you're... F oh, god dang it. You're not giving me any pips by doing that, sir. Please don't. That's an X, that's an X spell. Your physical attack, god darn it. Alright, don't need that. Gonna keep the faint. I won't need that. Let's use, uh, let's use the elemental blade, of all things. Let's use that one first. Don't even have a colossal or prism yet. And I want to actually try to go for sirens first. Because I want to be able to kill them both. Don't even think I need the prism. He has like 600, 700 health for a rank 9. Do they, do they do that in Dragon's Fire? Do they have that much health? I, Stormzilla, thank you for the pip, though. Um, very much appreciate it. Don't know if I'm going to actually live through this. God, this is like when I realize I'm going to have lots more trouble than I thought I might. That better not be Tower Shield, sir. Good, it's Ice Blade. Don't care if it's not Tower Shield. Uh, don't need all of these at all. Let's use this. I just need that Colossal of all things. Just please give me Colossal. Just the Colossal. Uh, what is that? What are you doing? Wild Bolt? Let me guess. Yep, knew it. I knew it was going to do the thousand. Why wouldn't it want to do the thousand? Obviously, it's going to do the thousand. Ah, oh, great. Do I have a pixie? Do not have a pixie. Well, I, sir, I am just as good as kind of screwed. If I use this, I'll pretty much just kill myself. So let's not use that. Let's use this. God darn it! Why? Every time Wild Bolt does a thousand. Just don't kill me. Alright, Storm Trap. What is this? What is this? You fizzled. Alright, that's wonderful. Fine by me. Got it. So. I'm gonna use Pixie. Because I actually want to be able to use that thing. And I hopefully I won't die before then. Using the healing powers of Pixie. Come on, let's get a critical. Come on, you want critical? No. No crit. Uh, back at half health, pretty much. What is this? Colossus? Oh, it's Frost. It's Icezilla. The Zilla of Ice. Uh, it's cold breath, just not bad breath. So, Oh, man, how much is this going to do? How much? Please. Wow, I'm at 300 health. Let's well, make it or break it. Probably gonna break it. Wow, this is just the closest I have ever been to death. They could both attack me and then I'm dead, so I'm gonna have to take the chance. Let's do it. Sirens like music to my ears. Please crit. Of all things, me, please crit with your 26% chance. Nope. Uh, hope, I hope this does a butt ton of damage. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. Oh, 2,000. Well, you have a resist, so... I'm sh I hope it does more. I swear, if you end up passing, I'm gonna kill... I'm gonna hate myself. Uh, he's definitely not close. Oh, that's right! Oh, wait, no. Oh, wow! He passed! Of all the things he could have possibly done. God darn it, now I'm definitely dead. This poop. That's poop. I should have cast that faint. No. Oh, well, you're casting a tower shield, aren't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't it be a tower shield? Come on, Pixie. Yes. Pixie. Actually, I'm not going to use this one. Hallelujah, saved. Maybe, probably not. I'm gonna die. But you know, I'm gonna try to. Try, I'm gonna try to win this. I'm gonna try. Okay, using the healing powers, pixie. No, no crit. Obviously, why would I want to crit? I'm gonna try to crit on a pixie. You fizzled. Oh, I forgot thermatic shield. That's probably why I'm dying. Um, don't need to do anything right now. Mainly because I don't have anything to do. Use snow angel. You use an ice waver. All right. Alright, uh, I see. Ah, my heart's like giving up on this fight. Uh, I'm gonna have to save up for Leviathan. Also use blades. And then keep myself at high health at the same time while he has a lot of pips. Don't think that might happen. 
Or I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, let's get the blade. I don't have Pixie. He has six pips. I am so worried right now. Oh, Jesus balls. What is this? Ice trap? I don't know. Colossus. Great. I'm gonna have to heal next turn if I'm still alive. If I even have a heal. Probably don't have a heal. It's gonna be wonderful. Ah, oh, god darn it. This is... This is sure... Oh, yeah. 200 health left? Great. Um, do not have Pixie, but I do have this, which is what I actually want to use, so I'm going to do that. I might clutch this victory with only 200 health. Come on, Prince Bentley, use an Amplify, please. Please, please. Oh, all right, um, I'm trying to think. Okay, he has three pips. That, the most that could possibly do is Evil Snowman. Which won't kill me, so not gonna bother using anything else. Just trying to think here. I'm barely gonna survive this. Yes, thank you, Prince Bentley, for that amplify. Now all I need to rely on is that. Yeah, you pass, and I don't fizzle this turn. So let me get rid of pretty much just everything, maybe except for that. Let's use this. Don't need that. All right. Clutching the victory with only 200 health, am I right? Let's let's get that clutch victory. Come on. Levy is love. Levy is life. GG. Is that game? Mimir, are you done? Because I don't want to fight you again. That was kind of... Yeah, crit. Yeah, GG. GG. No mercy. All right. That, that's game. He doesn't block. Ugh. 200 health. You got to be kidding me. Ooh, I got a staff from that. Staff of the Boreal Bear. Ah, I remember having that. I, re I remember that one? Yeah. Okay, Mimir. You caused me certainly the trouble. You have my apologies for the misunderstanding. I was not expecting guests. Well, how are you supposed to? You have certainly strayed from the beaten path, Outlander. What brings you here? Teach me Thane's table. Skegis sent you to learn to play Thane's table at my hand? Yes. That's wise. If he taught you himself, then he might not get the most of the game, and he might try to cheat. Well, that's, that's good. He's sent me to you then. Very well. I'll teach you how to play. But I'm so very hungry and so very Oh my god. No You're eat. dead. You're a ghost. Fetch me a loaf of Regan Wildly's harvest bread, and I'll teach you to beat Skagis Forkbeak at his game. Did I just come on a bucket? Did I really come down here and go back up in a bucket? That is amazing. Still, clutching a victory with only 200 health, still quite the achievement. I've got to say that myself. So I gotta go and get Reagan Wildleaf, talk to him, and get some bread. The harvest bread over here, I might add. Yeah, there's only one. There's like one of every enemy. What the heck is going on? Why? Why is that? Why? Okay, Reagan. I delivered the last of the bread to the bakery before the cold claimed the village. Oh, wow. There should be some in the... My harvest bread is meant to be served with fresh honey, but the nearest beehives are in Australia. Do I really need to go get some honey? Really? Can't I just give him the bread like he asked for? Give me the harvest bread. You find a loaf of Regan's harvest bread. Oh, I'm supposed to use the oven. Baker's oven. Collecting honey. Looking for that honey. Honey. Oh man, I want some honey. It's not not it's not money. I'm trying to rhyme here. Don't, don't question me. Hey, there's the beehive. I hope I don't knock it over and get instantly killed by bees. Hey, Grand. Ooh, while I'm here, actually, if I have a good memory, which apparently I don't, I will know which tent is behind us. Right here. Hello, you little trog. You see, so you're in the boar camp. Oh, God, I didn't realize Austria was in that top left-hand corner. He's one scary-looking dude. You carefully gather some honey without angering the hive. Oh. Maybe the bees were expecting a bear. Oh, good for me. Good, good, good for me that it got away with using, collecting honey without getting stung by a bee. I once got stung by a bee in the neck. It's like I was like, it was like a long time ago. I was eating lunch. 
I was looking down at my lunchbox like my neck was exposed to the sun. Something landed on my neck. I thought it was a fly, so I immediately lift my head back up to scare it away. It was a bee and stung me right in the neck. And I was just, it was like second grade or something. I was like, oh dear, what? I don't want to go to the office because I want to go to the playground and play. So I just pulled the stinger out, left it on the table, and walked away. <laughs> I'm just rubbing my neck afterwards. I'm like, ugh, you know what, just go play. Because nothing gets in the way of a kid in his playtime, am I right? Am yeah, I'm not know right. All right. The mirror, here's your bread. That smells delicious. Honey, too? You are indeed a generous guest. Well, the Reagan guy told me to, so. But I won't make you watch me eat it. <laughs> After all, you're here to learn how to play Bane's table. Let me start. <sighs> I bet he's like drooling over that while he tries to teach me. He teaches you not only the basics of Bane's table, but some advanced oh. rules. Oh, uh, this is too much for my brain. When he is finished teaching you the game, you think you can teach Skagis a thing or two. All right. That's all I can teach you. You are a good student. I think you will surprise Skegis when you play. Oh, I thank you. Well, so thank you in the next time. We'll, we'll challenge Skegis in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video and the commentary in this video, please click that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below. I love a new addition to the storm, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hi, Grandmother Raven. Peace.